This conference will now be recorded. Okay. So uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is quality certificates. So the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see what are quality certificates, certificate planning, how the certificate printing is planned. Then we will see certificate profile, what is certificate profile and why it is used. Okay. Then we will see certificate processing, okay, how the certificates are uh, uh, processed in the system. And finally, we'll see the printing of the quality certificate. Okay. So basically quality certificates, a quality certificate certifies the quality of goods. Okay, a certificate is nothing but a form. Okay, so normally in the industries, they will call it as COA, certificate of analysis, or they may call COC, certificate of conformance. Okay, so in some industries, they call it as COA, or some industries, they call it as COC. Okay. So basically that is nothing but quality certificate. So basically what happens is once a quality inspection is completed, once they do our regular flow, uh, you know our regular flow, right? Uh, so we create the, they create the inspection lot, okay? As per our flow, creation of inspection lot, okay? And then what you do? Um, once the inspection lot is released, normally you do the results record, recording, and then you do the usage decision, usage decision, and followed by, because uh, let's uh, let's put it here only, stock posting. So normally these are the activities normally they do. After this, what they do, they will print the certificate. Print the certificate, certificate. Okay, so the certificate basically will contain all the results on the on the on the print. They will print what is a material, what is a batch, okay, what is a material description, and then what are the parameters they tested, MICs they tested, what is the value, and what is a specifications, lower limit, upper limit, all those things they will print. And after printing at the bottom, they will sign it. Okay. So a typical uh, quality certificate print will be like this. Like this. If you see here, they will print like this. What is a material? What is a material? Material description. What is the total quantity? Okay. And the batch number. And what parameters? What characteristics they tested? You UOM, unit of measure. And this is the result. Result. Which entered in the results recording screen. During the all results recording. And these are the specifications, lower limit, upper limit, all those things. So these in this information, this information is printed on a paper, on a certificate. So that is called quality certificate. Okay. So how to generate this from the SAP is the that's what we are discussing today. Okay. So in some industries, they call it as COA, COA, certificate of analysis. In some industries, they call it a certificate of conformance, more or less both same, both same, okay? Now the question is what information they want to print on the certificate, they will decide, client will decide, okay? So now we will see today how to print this certificate from the standard SAP system, okay? With standard settings, okay? So basically, the chemical, or physical properties of goods can be recorded as inspection results or characteristics for the batch. So now you, you do the results recording basically, okay? A customer may have specific demands for quality, which may take the form of customer specifications, okay? Or lead to additional quality inspection. So normally customers, what they do is, they will ask for a certificate. When you deliver the product to the customer, customer will ask for a certificate, quality certificate. Okay, uh, so basically you can create a certificate directly for an inspection lot or a batch when a delivery does not exist. Even uh, you can uh, generate a quality certificate directly for an inspection lot or the batch. Okay, now the layout, the layout, format and contents of certificates are defined through interaction of certificate profiles and the SAP script form. So basic main thing here is certificate profile. 
which we will create okay so basically in the quality certificates we have uh, two major functions one is certificate planning next one is certificate processing okay so in the certificate planning you create all the data required for the printing you create all the data okay now in the processing you just do the processing you create the inspection lot results recording ud and then you pro proceed with the certificate generation okay so we have these two activities so first we'll start with the certificate planning okay so in the certificate planning basically you create all the master data like what is a layout what is a design what are the characteristic values you want to print okay all that information you will put it in the certificate plan so for this you need a certificate profile so before that let's understand uh, some terms first you need a certificate type certificate type can describe the general features of a certificate and can be based on standards it is just what type of certificate you want to print okay next one is certificate form it determines the page layout and format of the data on the certificate so it's a layout so this is the one we are talking about the layout is this one. this is a sample layout what you want to print okay uh, which in which column which information has to appear whether you need a company logo all that information you put it in the uh, you design in the form this standard sap comes with some forms and you can have your own form the form will be created by the technical team about it. okay now the most important one is certificate profile so this certificate profile controls inspection lot selection the sequence of characteristics and data okay so basically it controls everything so this we will create it will contain the header data and characteristics what characteristics you want to print that you need to enter in this certificate proof okay so now this is the one so first you create a certificate profile that certificate into the certificate profile you will assign the form layout okay and once the certificate is profile is created you will assign this profile to the respective object either it can be a material or it can be a customer ship to party or it can be a material group okay so based on your requirement you can assign okay so now let's create the certificate profile so in the certificate profile you will assign all the characteristics you want to print okay and it will be assigned with the form also so now let's do this in the s4 hana system let's see what is last time we'll try otherwise it will get logged So first let's create the certificate profile go to logistics go to quality management here you have quality certificates open this okay go to outgoing okay don't go to incoming go to outgoing go to certificate profile here qc01 this is the transaction double click you will get this screen create certificate profile create a new profile z underscore seven underscore qm this is the profile i'm creating certificate type the one which we just discussed what type of certificate it is okay so let me select we have any certificate types uh, we have these are all certificate types i'll show you this in the configuration is just in just identification you don't maintain any information in this certificate type okay but let me select the first one e21 select this one type and enter Okay, now it will take you to the header data. We are in the header data. 
Okay, so we are here. We are in the header. Profile header. Okay. Uh, so in the header, you have to assign the form layout basically. So this one. We are here. We are creating the certificate profile. First, you need to assign the form. Form. Okay. So I am not sure in this system we have any forms. Okay, I assigned this form. Okay, standard SAP form. This one QM underscore QCERT underscore zero one. This is the form I assigned. But if your customer, your client wants any, any new form, then you have to develop it with uh, with uh, using using technical team about team. Then that form you need to assign it here. Okay. Now assign that. After that, I'll maintain some other information here. I'll activate this checkbox accepted lots only that means this certificate profile allows you to print quality certificate for only accepted lots for rejected lots it will not allow. so you need to activate this checkbox if the if they want okay and that's all and if you want to make this certificate profile applicable only for one inspection type okay then you can maintain the inspection type here okay but let's make it let's use it for all okay so once you enter this information enter that's okay now here you see there is a button characteristics you need to click on that button now here you need to assign all the characteristics all the characteristics 